Today I'm going to show you a crochet stitch, which I call Aphrodite, and you may use it for a beautiful cowl. You need a number of stitches divisible by 12, 12 plus 5. So for this sample I'm casting on a chain of 29. And first row starts with a triple crochet into the sixth chain from the hook. One triple or treble crochet into the sixth chain from the hook plus chain one. And you repeat this two times. So a second triple crochet into the same stitch plus chain one and a third one. Triple crochet plus chain one. Now skip five stitches and into the sixth stitch work one single crochet. plus chain one and again skip five stitches and into the sixth stitch work seven triple crochets each one followed by chain one one and the chain the second triple crochet all into the same stitch second triple crochet plus chain one, third triple crochet or treble crochet, plus chain one, fourth triple crochet, plus chain one, a fifth triple crochet, plus chain one, a sixth triple crochet, plus chain one and a seventh triple crochet plus chain one. Skip five again. And into the sixth chain one single crochet and chain one and into the last stitch into the last chain three triple crochets followed by one chain each and a fourth triple crochet all worked into the same very last stitch of the chain this was row one So this is how it looks up to now. Two half motifs at the side and one full motif in the middle. So row number two, chain six and one single crochet into the single crochet of the previous row, chain six. and one single crochet into the fourth triple crochet of the previous row, chain six, and one single crochet into the single crochet of the previous row, and chain six, and one single crochet into the last stitch. And we repeat this row for row number three, chain six, and one single crochet into the single crochet of the previous row, 
chain six and again one single crochet into the single crochet of the previous row and chain six and one single crochet into the single crochet of the previous row and chain six and one single crochet into the last stitch in row four we offset the pattern now we have those small chains after the shells and now we offset the shells and you start with one turning chain and one single crochet into the very first stitch and chain one and into the next single crochet work seven triple crochets followed by chain one each two chain one and three chain one four chain one five chain one six chain one seven chain one and one single crochet into the next single crochet chain one and again seven triple crochets followed by one, chain one each into the next single crochet two and chain one three and chain one four and chain one five and chain one six and chain one and seven and chain one now one single crochet into the next single crochet so we have two shells here this was row four and now again two rows of chains like we did before so one turning chain plus one single crochet into the very first stitch chain six and one single crochet into the fourth triple crochet of the previous row and chain six one single crochet into the sing into the next single crochet of the previous row and chain six and one single crochet into the fourth treble crochet of the previous row and chain six and one single crochet into the next single crochet of the previous row and once again one turning chain and one single crochet into the very first stitch and chain six and one single crochet into the next single crochet of the previous row and chain six and again one single crochet into the next single crochet of the previous row and chain six
and one single crochet into the next single crochet and chain six and one single crochet into the last single crochet of the previous row. Now row seven is similar to row one again but a little different as it's not the first row of the pattern. So row C seven, five, chain five, plus one triple crochet into the first stitch, chain one, and the second triple crochet, chain one, and the third triple crochet, all into the same stitch, chain one, and one single crochet into the next single crochet of the previous row. Chain one and seven triple crochets followed by a chain one each into the next single crochet, all into the same stitch. Chain one, the second one, chain one, three, and chain one, four, and chain one, five, and chain one, six, and chain one, seven, and chain one. Again, one single crochet into the next single crochet of the previous row. Oops, that's an error. I correct it. Something wrong here. So of course, one single crochet into the next single crochet. And there's another half motif missing. Chain one and three triple crochets followed by chain one into the last chain. Three and chain one and one more, a fourth one, triple crochet at the very end. And now you start over with row two and you always repeat rows two through seven. So here you see a little more of the pattern. It's very cozy and it's a beautiful pattern for a cool cowl. Enjoy. <laughs> 